Hi everybody, welcome to Manchester on a Saturday. So uh, the shopping mall in the centre of Manchester is called the Arndale, Manchester Arndale. And uh, a provocative sentence, my skirt's short. So what? Provocative, but it's a funny looking woman. I don't know, man. Just another busy day in landing strip one. And uh, a little bird tells me that my pro-Palestinian friends have been uh, doing their thang. We'll go investigate. Whoa, it's noisy. That deep voice you hear behind me is artificial. It's a hormone enhanced deep voice. Don't know how I feel about it, but it's not authentic. Approaching Cracky Gardens, also known as Piccadilly Gardens. We're on the Market Street tram stop like we were yesterday, getting severe deja vu. The universe is folding upon itself. My channel is turning into a wormhole. Hello mate, all good. So we're in Piccadilly Gardens now, in the arms race of uh, flags. The Muzzies have had a good showing recently with their banners, their flags, their protests. Here's the, the Christians. Hey, hello, how are you? Very good. Is that my friend Lawrence? There he is, having the preach. Go on, Lawrence. Let's see what's going on here. So we pass our friend Lawrence. Lawrence of Manchester, not Lawrence of Arabia. What's the story here? We've got a sergeant, we've got... Hello, hiya. Hello, hello. Don't mind me. Ignore me, ignore me. Hello, hiya. That's uh, scene one, act one. And we come a bit closer to Morrison's, which is one of the uh, triangulation points of cracky the Cracky Triangle. There's a lot of police vehicles about. It's probably because of the tacit pro Hamases. Do you like a Hamas? A hummus? Do you like a tahini sauce as it goes down your gullet? There's a lot of police vehicles, a lot of officers. There's a couple up there, but it's looking a bit... How do I put this poli politically correct? It's looking a bit... Ukraini. They'll be talking about Navalny. I should probably say a few words about Alexei Navalny, the uh, dissident who's been, uh, well, we know he's dead in prison. Did Putin kill him? Where's me officers? There they are. I was going to have a look again. Well, the man is free to go. Free to go. He's, he looks injured. Poor guy. Uh, maybe they're going to go find a... Hi, guys. You okay? Hello. Right, Hello, how are you? Oh, good. Do you know where the protests are, the big uh, pro Hamas guys? I don't today because I'm not working. But they're in so town somewhere. They're in town. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll try the, um, the library square. The football ground as well. Are they? I'll try the library one. small contingent, so. Oh, is it? It's way better for me then. Okay. Cheers, mate. All the best. See you. All right, there's more arriving now. Here we go. Here we go. What's the story, Morning Glory? You heard the chat with the uh, inspector? It's a small contingency of the. Uh, Pro Palestine. We'll let, we'll let, right, that's it. Clear the way. Part the seas. Moses is coming through. Go on, Moses. What's the story? Right, there's two more officers. Where are these ossifers going? Into Maccas, of course. We're going to have to go into Maccas. A bit dangerous in there, but we'll check it out. I think they're looking for someone. Or maybe they just want a double cheeseburger. Question is, is it two double cheeseburgers or one triple cheeseburger? It's up to you. Going back towards Morrison's. And uh, not gonna walk into the back of the transit. Is it a transit? Yep, it's a transit. Ford. Transit. Okay, it has become very Ukrainian now. They've uh, missed a few Saturdays, but they're back. Obviously about the assassination of uh, Navalny, if he's been assassinated. It might be too soon to, to know, but we'll, we'll get a quick look. Check out the soldiers, if it focuses.
Are you okay? Oh, the police are outside the weather spoons. There's a few more. Oh, look at oh look at this. Bit of a theater here, guys. A Ukrainian ambulance. Look at that. How are you? you okay, guys. Thank you, guys. Check out the YouTube as well. Of course you can. All right, lovely kids. Uh, they wanted a photograph. Here's the Ukrainian ambulance. It's all smashed up. I'm a Ukrainian. O cara, o Navalny, foi, foi assassinado ontem, yeah. Yeah. Oh, All the best, I better carry on working, see ya. I like it, my brain had to switch there. The guy was speaking to me in Portuguese, but I, I just about figured it out. Look at that, in the back of an Ukrainian ambulance. Wow, wow, we were. Poor things. Yeah, that, 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 that shrapnel, that one. I could... Yeah, is that shrapnel? Yeah. Not good, guys. Oh, imagine that going through your skull. Not good. Anyway, you've got a police presence here, which is, uh, you don't want any angry Russians coming along and... Come on, please focus, camera, please focus. Hey, you're not an angry Russian, are you? No, no, you're peaceful Russian, very peaceful. Oh, I, uh, What? No, you know, I, I, my, my granny is from Russia. I don't want her blown up. Look at what they're doing to the Ukraine. Yeah, but it's war. War is bad, very bad. I just received some information from a friend. The uh, soldier, soldiers over there are frontline medics from the front line in Ukraine. And uh, apparently there's some uh, really bad shrapnel damage on the side of the... Oh my God, oh my God. You weren't joking. That is awful, oh my God. That is terrible. That's thick, well, it's vehicle thick and it's, it's peppered. Imagine the driver, the driver would have got absolutely destroyed here. Sorry, sorry guys, sorry. Nine mil. No, this is all shrapnel, this is all shrapnel. No, they're not bullets, that's all shrapnel. I'm telling you this is bullet. No, one of the guys that was in the ambulance, he said it was shrapnel. But it's okay, it could be a bullet, it could be a bullet. But look at that, guys. Jeez. See the holes in the ceiling as well. Not good. Anyway, let's see the... Yeah, of course you can. Well, after the ethanol lady, the ethanol enthusiast got arrested for uh, scratching up the some of the workers in the Weatherspoons here. For the international audience, uh, Weatherspoons is a chain pub. Very good prices. Usually big traditional buildings turned into... Uh, Why? Why are you telling the police I'm filming? Why? What's wrong with me filming? I saw you telling the police. I'm good. No, 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 it's okay. Why? Why, why would you tell the police that? Cautious. Name's Charlie Veach. Subscribe on YouTube. Thank you. Free, exactly. I'm very well. What's with the weather spoons? There's something happening in there. No, no, we've just got it's football. It's Chelsea versus City fixture. We've got oh. Chelsea versus Man City. Wow, that's Battle of the Pale Blues. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry, you carry it. They're busy, sorry, good. I've never met an African Christian I didn't like. They're always based and beautiful people. Look at them here, spreading the good word of Jesus Christ. Smiling, I love it, I love it. Go on, Christian Africans. That's me, that's, uh, yeah. It's not a Polestar, it's a Volvo, but we'll let it, we'll let it slide. And uh, we're going to the Piccadilly Tavern. There's another, uh, police contingency out that pub. Oh guys, it's police hats. Who's getting married? Who's getting married? Have you seen me? Who's getting married? Who's the lucky, lucky lady? Are you getting married? Yes. Brilliant. Well, uh, my condolences. I hope it works thank out. Yes, I Yeah, I really, yeah, thank you. I, I'm joking. I believe in marriage. Have a great one. I'll thank try. you. Thank Cheers, you. guys. All the best. See you. <laughs> what have we got here? What have we got here? Let's see. Are we allowed to shout Chelsea? Go on, Chelsea. Look at that, it's a free country. Go on, Chelsea. Show these northern fairies. Go on. <laughs> Fucking hell, I thought you'd nick me umby. <laughs>
Where's all the Chelsea shirts? There's some... Wait, maybe they're wearing Stone Island. Oh, there they are, Stone Island in case it kicks off, lads. Go on, Chelsea! <laughs> oh, wait. Mate, you're definitely a Chelsea fan, aren't you? 100%. What? 100%. Good man, yeah. Now I lived in London for 10 years. I lived in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. Big up the Chelsea. Pale, pale blue fight. It's going on my channel. Go on. Go on, Chelsea. Show these Mancunian girls. Go on. Go on, guys. Subscribe to Jacob 2501 as well. Subscribe to Charlie Veach, he means. Is he taking a photo? Jacob 2501. Come on, Mario's final fight. Manchester is just one of those cities where there's more emergency vehicles than non-emergency vehicles. What's going on back at McDonald's? When it's a very dry day, but there's a big puddle outside McDonald's, you know they've had to wash away the blood. Seeing a lot of people leaving the pro-Palestine protests, seeing blue hairs, kefias, scarfies, slogans. I saw a sticker on the toddler's forehead that said, uh, free, free Palestine. You see it all. And funnily enough, as we walk towards the sun, we're heading west here, guys, west. Can ye go west? Can ye west? Can yeah, you can. Um, I feel safer screaming about Chelsea in the Man City city than I do talking about Israel with a pro-Hamas crowd around me. You can't come to Manchester, any major Western world city on a Saturday and not cover a little bit of the, of this. Viewers deserve a live arrival. There's uh, some Irish Celtic symbols. That's not a LGTV 4K flag, that's the new South African flag. Well, new, I say it since 94. But uh, there, is a, there is a gathering, a little gathoid. A Gaza for gathering, or gathering for Gaza. Flags as a superhero cape is like a, a recent development. I wore a, a Union flag, I got corrected, it's only a Union Jack when flown above a ship. Hello. Oh, hello, sir. Anyone that wants to shake my hand is a good guy. I, I've always wanted to meet you. Oh, thank I you. It. I love you, I love your stuff. Oh, thanks, especially, man. It means a lot to me. you know when you go out into the suburbs. And yeah, into yeah, the different parts. Honestly, brilliant. Thanks, mate. And, Appreciate and, it. I know. Go on. I, I, a bit, what do you call it? I did it. Okay. Um, they say uh, start at the end, so we've started at the end. Is it a docile crowd? Hello, PLs. Hello, PLs. How are you guys? All good. Yeah, but I tried the uh, Leeds and Liverpool for their. Uh, Hi, there, there. Seems almost festive. It's a nice enough crowd. There's a bit of a young contingency over there with their faces covered. Always the way. Do I recognize the little guy on the bike? No, I don't think I do. Or maybe I do actually. He looks, uh, I recognize those eyeballs. Hello, man. Hey, hey, My name's Jake, and you're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Thanks, Jake. So, uh, uneventful moments at the pro Palestine march. To be honest, I enjoyed. I had a conversation with two very polite, very educated Palestinians. And one of them, and neither of them wanted to be on video, and I said, how about just the audio, because this is really interesting for my viewers, like, nah, 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 nah. So I respected that, for a change. But uh, he asked me to look up... Hello, mate, okay. He asked me to look up Jewish people living in the West Bank or in Gaza. I said, there are no Jewish people in the West Bank or Gaza. He's like, no, no, I swear to God, there's loads. So uh, I'll be Googling when I get home, but I don't think he's right. I really don't think there are any Jewish people left in the West Bank or Gaza. Obviously the West Bank, but because it's all mixed up, but not in Gaza. You're not a tram. 
Hey, orange backpack boy, why, why you have to throw the insults as you go past? Eh, well, come on, I'll chat to you now then. You got your cool dreadlocks and your funny hair. No, no, no. Yo, I've got your Yo if you follow me, that's harassment, yeah? I, sa I said something in passing to you, don't fucking follow What did you me. say? Turn around and walk away. What now. did you say, little guy? Walk away now. What did you say, little guy? Little boy, little boy. Go and kick some more women, you fucking scumbag. He's angry, he's angry. They're Jesus people, I love it. Go on, Jesus. Is that the guy off TikTok? No, it's not. It just looks like a Paul. It's not him. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great sadness that I announce that the Ukrainian forces have withdrawn from the Avdivka front line. The Russians have taken that city. They've uh, spent months trying to take it. The Ukrainian summer offensive has not uh, achieved the results they wanted. And uh, right now it's a meat grinder. What's the solution, guys? Peace treaty, uh, more money for Ukraine, more troops, NATO troops. Should we conscript your, your neighbor, the, the Gen Z people next door, to go and fight in Ukraine? Weather spoons. <laughs> Guys, the television tried to tell me that punk is dead. Is punk dead? Is it for? Can you Good read man. that? Oh, you know what? Why, we that is the photo? perfect t-shirt. Of course you can. Are you punk? You're not punk. Yeah, oh, there you go. You are punk. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I'll do it. Wait, 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 wait. Go on, ladies. All right. There you go. Punk's not dead. Thank you. Look at that. New, new subscribers to the Charlie Beach show. And you said something that we missed. It's punk dead, mate. Nice. Have you seen this, viewers? It's the silent disco. Look at these uh, absolute fools that are jumping up and down, thinking. And then there's Usman. Usman's going to tell you about the Quran. Look at that. What a crossover. We got Usman the Muslim, and you got silent disco. Bloody hell.